Welcome to our channel. As per your requests. In this video, we will be discussing the closed breathing circuit. From this video, we will cover what it is, how it works, and its benefits. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Breathing circuits are simple device that is used to connect the machine with the patient to administer oxygen and other anesthetic agents. It is mainly classified into open circuit, semi-open circuit, semi-closed circuit, and closed. We've already discussed the open and semi-closed circuits in the previous video. Today we will see about closed circuits. Closed circuits refer to the use of a breathing circuit that recirculates exhaled gases back to the patient, creating a closed loop system. This type of circuit is commonly used in anesthesia and critical care settings, as well as in mechanical ventilation. We usually administer oxygen, nitrous oxide, and other inhalational agents during general anesthesia. Patients breathe in all those things and exhale carbon dioxide and anesthetic gases. Among them, only carbon dioxide is the only waste gas that should not be administered. So a device called a carbon dioxide absorber is used to absorb that exhaled carbon dioxide. After removing that expired carbon dioxide, the remaining expired gas is then to be free to inspire again without accumulation of carbon dioxide occurs. In simple words, the patient rebreathes the same anesthetic mixture again and again. This reduces the consumption of an anesthetic mixture. In a closed breathing circuit, the exhale gases from the patient are collected, filtered, and then returned to the patient for inhalation. The circuit typically consists of various components, including a breathing tube, connectors, valves, filters, and a breathing bag or reservoir. Closed breathing circuits are available in two forms. They are to and fro closed breathing system. A circle breathing system is commonly known as a circle absorber as its components are arranged as a circle, it is termed a circle system. The flow of exhaled gases is unidirectional in this closed system. In contrast, the to and fro breathing system is a non-breathing system that uses two unidirectional valves to direct gas flow in and out of the patient's lungs. The inspiratory valve opens during inspiration and closes during expiration, while the expiratory valve opens during expiration and closes during inspiration. This type of circuit offers several advantages in certain clinical scenarios. It helps to reduce the consumption of medical gases, including O2 and volatile anesthetics, which can be cost-effective. The closed circuit allows for the conservation of heat and humidity, as well as the rebreathing of carbon dioxide (CO2) by the patient. Additionally, closed circuits are beneficial in situations where it is important to maintain a stable level of CO2 in the patient's blood, such as during anesthesia or in patients with specific respiratory conditions. That's all for today's video about closed circuits. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching.